Today we are going to talk about multiplication and how does it help us. In math, we have different techniques to calculate. Before, you saw the addition which sign is a plus to add. And you saw the subtraction which sign is minus to subtract. Here we have three groups of two apples. If we want to know how many apples we have all together, we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six apples all together. We can also add the number of apples in each group. Two plus two plus two equals six. Notice that we have repeated number two three times. So we can call this equality a repeated addition. We can do the same thing with four groups of five bees. We can count the bees, they are 20, and we can add the number of bees in each group. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 20. This is a repeated addition. We have repeated number 5 four times. Here we have three groups of 10 stars. Three groups of 10 equals 30. Of course, we can say that 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30. This is a repeated addition. We have repeated number 10 three times. We can also write 3 times 10 equals 30. The times represents multiplication. Here we have another example. We have 5 groups of 4 chocolate bars. If we count them, we get 20 chocolate bars. 5 groups of 4 equals 20. Also, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 20. Also, 5 times 4 equals 20. Students, you should pay attention that 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 is not a repeated addition, while 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is a repeated addition, and we can write this repeated addition as a multiplication form, which is 4 times 3. So we should remember that the multiplication is a repeated addition. 3 times 2 tells us that we have 3 groups of 2. It is 2 plus 2 plus 2, or we can read it also as 3 multiplied by 2. Another example, 2 times 9 represents 2 groups of 9. It is 9 plus 9, or we can read it as 2 multiplied by 9. 